What implant is better, silicone or saline? Well, essentially, saline implants are filled with salt water, okay? Silicone implants, the latest one, are filled with silicone gel, and normally we would use a cohesive gel. A cohesive gel is a thicker gel, so when you cut it, it's not runny, sticks together, a bit like a gummy bear, something's called gummy bear implants, and it's got the texture of Turkish delight, so it stays where it is, so it is uh, safer. What's better? Well, let's look at some of the pros and cons. Saline implants, pros are they can be compressed and blown up inside your body so they can be inserted through a smaller incision. Um, and the other main pro is they're not silicone. Cons, they feel more ripply, they're firmer, they don't feel, feel as natural. And if you do get a rupture, obviously all the saline is going to uh, run away so they do deflate. Silicone implants, the pros are they feel more natural. Uh, uh, the cons are they made out of silicone, although silicone has uh, been, been shown to be uh, relatively safe. And again, I talk about this in other videos. Please look at the other videos. We'll be happy to send you an information uh, CD or booklet on uh, silicone uh, implants if you uh, wish. And the other con of a silicone implant is because you can't deflate it, you're going to need a slightly larger incision to place the implant and the incision lasts uh, it, uh, is approximately four to four and a half centimeters in width. So the pros and cons of each, probably the best thing to do is listen to our information CD, which we'll be happy to send to you on breast enlargement surgery to get information on both, and then come in and see one of our specialist breast surgeons at Aurora or one of our trained uh, nurse specialists who'll be able to advise you about the best uh, implant for you.